So Cayman Connection is a global organization for Caymanians and people who are associated with the Cayman Islands overseas. We're so excited about this event particularly because we're doing some work about the natural heritage and culture, not only so that our overseas audience really understand and feel close to home, but also so that we're connected with those who are involved in this really important work here in Cayman. So working with Eric has been amazing um, since we first met, and this tour was just another really interesting insight about our, our natural heritage, which is so important important. Um, so huge thanks to Eric and the team uh, for another great event. Thanks for joining. I just wanted to say uh, thanks to Kate for Cayman Connections for hosting this and the Botanic Park as well. It's really special that we can come out here and see everything firsthand. Usually my workshops are always in a classroom so I end up having to bring everything so this is great that I only have two plants up here and everything we're going to go actually see in the garden firsthand which is really exciting. Moringa is one of my favorites. So I've been working with Moringa about almost 10 years now. It's so easy to use. And gram for gram is four times more nutritional uh, vitamin C than in carrots, uh, seven times more vitamin C than in oranges, two times the protein than in yogurt, three times the iron found in almonds, three times the potassium found in bananas. It has 92 nutrients in total, which is consisting of 46 antioxidants, 18 amino acids, which are all nine essential amino acids, which is really rare to find all nine present in one food type. Usually you have to get it in different um, combination. And then also it has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. My name is Hannah Reed, and I run a social media blog called Bush Girl Medicine, so I'm really interested in the types of traditional environmental knowledge that Eric Lee Kopp was talking about in his talk today with Cayman Connection. It's one of these things where it's really important for us to know our heritage, our cultural legacy, and be able to identify these plants, know what they were used for, know what they can be used for in our daily lives so we can keep those traditions alive, and also be able to pass them down to our, to our own families, but also share them in our own so social networks. And this today was a great example of bringing a bunch of people together over a common cause, which is learning more about our natural environment and learning more about our cultural connections with the natural environment. This one is called Providence Mint. It's not as strong as your traditional mint, but it still has a really, really nice smell to it. So if anybody wants to come, you're welcome to come and have a little smell of it. <laughs> so starting over here, this is actually the, the Providence Mint, the one that I was talking about earlier. It's not as kind of uh, thriving as the ones that I got my clippings from, but you guys can still get a little bit of the essence of kind of what it looks like. And I came today to see Eric Leacock talk about herbal remedies with Cayman Connection to support the incredible work that Cayman Connection does. And it was a really amazing talk. Eric is so full of wonderful information about how trees and plants and different kinds of herbs were used in Cayman's early history to support um, the health of the people. The amount of great knowledge that we have here in Cayman uh, is tremendous and I like to see it supported so we don't forget our our heritage and our history here in Cayman. So I'm, I'm happy that Cayman Connection put no, this together it. and excited to support it. Alternative coffee to this. So the seeds, these ones aren't doing too well, but once they are, um, they're a little bit less black and a little bit more brown, they'll take the seeds from them and they'll slightly roast them and they'll make a coffee out of it. And it's really nice, I've had it before. Um, so this was their kind of alternative for coffee. It has been extremely beneficial to learn about all of the plants that we have, the indigenous plants and what their benefits were in traditional times and in current times. So I would encourage everyone to come forward and learn about the tour. Thank you, Cayman Connect. So this is our version of common rosemary. This is, it does have a little bit of the smell, aroma mm -hmm. as the common one. And here in Cayman, they used to use it for um, like mosquito. So they would take a, a pot and heat it up in a fire and then take the leaves and just put it inside that pot and it would create a lot of smoke and they would use that to, to deter the mosquitoes around cattle and, and around the house. Uh, they would also take these leaves and um, they would get a whole bundle of it and tie it and make a broom out of it and they would use that to sweep mm. and make brooms mm. which is really cool as well. Um, so it's a really nice plant. This I have seen, there's different parts of the island, mostly on the ends, like the east and the west part. You'll see it growing all over the, the side of the road, very commonly.
it's really been wonderful to be here today. Um, Kate did an amazing job from Cayman Connection once again, a fantastic event, um, learning about the island's heritage and looking at these beautiful natural assets here at, um, has been fascinating. Thank you. My name is Eric Leacock and I did a workshop today on herbal remedies and we talked about the plants that are here in the botanical park and the different ways that they can be used in medicinal applications. I'm really looking forward to spending time uh, working with the different organizations and the government in the future. Ways that we can incorporate our traditions and our heritage with the younger generations. So I think uh, the workshop today was a, a real great success and uh, I look forward to collaborating with um, everybody again in the future. Thank you.